hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we have an exciting tutorial for you as we'll be exploring how to integrate the google pay api into your angular web app in version 17. this will enable your users to make seamless and secure payments right from your application so without further ado let's dive into the demo as you can see right here we have the application um, simple application and we have this button centered in the div so we have pay with google pay so when you click on this button it brings up this model the api for the payment um checkout and you can see complete your purchase you select the email address um you click on continue and then you input your credit or debit card and, and that's it so let's dive into the steps. So right here, I have an application that runs on my local host right here. And so what we're going to do is we are going to install the necessary packages. We're just going to install the Google Pay API. All right. So to install the Google API, npm install. At Google Pay button Angular. All right. So once we have that installed, the next thing we want to do is let's go to our route. And before that, let's create the component. So ng, we're going to create the pay pay Google component. And it's going to be a standalone component. So NGC, NG generate create component, and the name of the component is Pay Google, and it is standalone. Okay, so we have our component right here, Pay Google, and if you check the dot TS, you can see that the standalone um, flag is set to true. All right. So the next thing is we once let's go over to the app dot component dot html and remove all of these files so these are the default files we don't need them so you remove everything okay good so next thing you want to do is you want to call your pay, pay google component inside your app component so i'm just going to do that right now so I'm going to comma pay Google component. So we have that here and let's go to our route and let's add our pay Google component inside our route. So and then the component pay google component all right so let's see what it looks like so pay google works okay great so let's go over to our pay google.html and what we want to do is we want to center the checkout button all right so I'm just going to create a div and i'm going to right here give it a class of wrapper all right and let me just close this guys out okay so in my html css i'm to wrapper and we want to give it a width of 100 percent and the height let's try something new that i saw on kevin's channel kevin powell um great css teacher um so Instead of doing 100 VH, I'm going to do 100 DVH, dynamic view height. So the display flex, because we want it to be in the center, we do justify content center and line content center. Good stuff. All right. So we need to call the Google component right here. So Google dash. 
P dash button, all right? So it takes a couple of parameters, a um, couple of attributes rather. Um, so one of them is the environment. The environment is test. All right, and then we have like button color. The button color to black. Then we have button type. All right, then we have um, the payment request. Equals to, we're going to have like a payment request now dot ts file. So let's put that here first. And we can have like a style dot width for our button want to customize the width and we're just going to set a property here called button width that we're going to call in our .ts file all right so here we are going to call um, on, on click so load payment data all right um, goes to unload Payment data, it's like a function it takes in this event. Okay. All right, so we have the environment, um, we have the button color, the button type, the payment request. Okay, don't worry about these errors. We're going to fix it in the dot .ts. And then we have the load payment data. So this is load payment data and then we have this particular method that we're going to call very soon in our .ts file all right so let's go over to our .ts file and finish this up so right off the bat what you want to do is you want to import the google pay button module all right so we just import and we are calling the google pay button module module okay and that is from the google pay button angular great so we want to import that here inside our imports okay as the first step secondly we want to add um what are we adding button width so let's add our button width here so we'll do button width and we are setting it to, is it 40, okay, in pixels. Then what else are we adding? Again, this is gone, payment request. Okay, so let's set our payment request. Okay, so. Payment request equals to, so we set the API version, then the API version minor and then we're going to do our loud payment methods this takes an array of objects so the first one is um, we are going to type type is card all right and we are also going to set our parameters Then we have the pan only the cryptogram right then we also have the allowed cards network i'm just going to copy this okay um then we have our tokenization okay copy tokenization as well all right and then we have the merchant info we have the merchant info right 
and the matcha info takes the ID um, because we're in the test environment, so these are just random values. And then we have the transaction info as well, so copy that. Um, if you want, if you wonder where I'm copying this from, it's from the official documentation. All right, um, right. So we have our unload. Okay, payment. And let's just console log this event. Uh, data. Okay, let's see how that works. All right, so we have this particular error right here. Um, so let's see what the error could be. Okay, one way to fix this is, so in our payment request, we can simply do google.payments.api. Okay, dot payment data requests this one here okay so let's run this all right you can see now now it works okay so I think this is a common error um, when I was building the app myself I encountered this error but after surfing through the net one way to fix it for version 17 is to add this particular type here okay um, so let's run this. So we have the button centered and buy with Google Pay. And yeah, complete your purchase, select your email address, continue, and there you have it. You can add your credit or debit card, as simple as that. All right, that's all for this particular tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright guys, catch you on the next one. Bye for now.